Hello, in this video I want to show you the function of a Glock pistol. I will show it to you with the help of this poster from Glock and with my Glock 17 generation 4 and I will go in all the details. On a Glock pistol the only external safety is on the trigger. It's a little part of plastic in the middle of the trigger and when you pull the trigger correctly the clock will shoot and you don't have to put on any other external safety, this part here on the trigger. The other two safeties are inside the pistol and you don't have to worry about them, they just work. The clock pistol uses the so-called Browning Petter 6 system. When you shoot calibers from 9mm and uh, stronger or bigger, then there is a need of a locked barrel. This means that the barrel and the slide are locked together and when the round is fired, the slide and the barrel go together back about one millimeter and after that way, the round is outside the barrel and the barrel can move down and the lock is open when the round is fired. The main parts of a Glock are the grip, the barrel, the slide and the magazine. Now let's see the safeties in detail. First we have the so-called trigger safety. The trigger safety is the small plastic part in the middle of the trigger and it isn't possible to pull the trigger when you don't pull this plastic part. The trick is that this plastic part uh, stops on the frame if it isn't pulled. There is a, a space in the frame where the, the small part can go in when you pull it. You see when I pull this part, the trigger can move back. And if I don't pull this part with the trigger, the trigger and the part cannot go in the frame because it is uh, locked on the frame just when I pull it it goes up and then there is space to go in the frame. It is a very simple safety with an extremely effective operation. The next safety is the firing pin safety. You see it here in the picture. There is a bolt between the firing pin and the primer and if the bolt isn't pressed inside, the firing pin can't reach the primer. On the pistol it looks like this, this is this little part here. And when you put pressure on it, it goes in and the firing pin can move forward. If the firing pin is on the back position and you don't put pressure on it, the firing pin can't move forward. This little part is operated by the trigger mechanism, it is this little part here. When you pull the trigger back, this part goes back and it pushes the pressure on the firing pin safety. The firing pin safety goes in and the firing pin can move forward when the safety is pressed in. The third safety is the so-called fall safety. It prevents that the firing pin can move forward. The firing pin is under spring pressure when the pistol is loaded. And the fall safety is a part which can't move down when you don't pull the trigger. And so the firing pin can't move forward. The part is in a, in a curve and this curve goes down when you pull the trigger back. I will show you on the pistol. Here would be, here is the fall safety and the firing pin would be behind this part. It would already be on the spring pressure. There's a spring inside the slide from the firing pin. And this part can't go down when you don't pull the trigger. There is a curve in the trigger housing 
you can't see it very good in the video here. You will see it a bit later on the cut model from the poster. So the part can't move down. When you pull the trigger back, after a few millimeters, that the firing pin will be more under spring pressure and then the part moves down because of the curve in the trigger housing and then the firing pin would fall. At the same time, you see that the uh, firing pin safety also is released because of the movement of the trigger and the uh, firing pin would fire the primer and the round would be fired. When the round is fired, the pistol reloads and there is a part on the slide. It is uh, this little curve here. And when the slide goes back and then goes forward again, it puts pressure on the connector here. I'll show you. Now the pistol would be fired, the slide would go back and then the slide would go forward and the curve puts pressure on here and you see the mechanism goes up again because of the pressure on the connector and this pressure is, is from, this, from the curve on the slide. I'll try to show you it a bit better that you can see it in the video. So once again, the whole mechanism, you pull the trigger with the trigger safety, the parts go back, the firing pin safety is released, because this part pushes pressure and the firing pin safety goes up. Then the whole parts go back, the firing pin is taken with the fall safety and is released when the fall safety goes down. Primer will fire the gun, the slide will move back, and when the slide comes forward, the curve on the slide pushes pressure on the connector here. And when the curve pushes pressure on the connector, the trigger parts go up again. And the slide with the firing pin will go forward and the firing pin will be on the fall safety here on the back and it will take the whole parts forward again. I'll show it to you with the trigger. Parts go forward again and the pistol is reloaded and is safe again. One more time pull the trigger, parts go back, firing pin safety is released because of this little part here and the fall safety goes down, firing pin will fire the primer, the slide will go back and come forward, pushes pressure on the connector and the firing pin will take the whole parts forward again and the pistol is reloaded and can be, can be shot one more time. When I started the video, I told you that the Glock pistol operates with the so-called Browning Petty Sick system, and now I will show you what this means. You see that the slide and the barrel fit together, and you can't move the barrel when you have it in the slide. Right here on the video. From the, the slide and the barrel fit perfect together and this is the lock of the pistol. When the round is fired the slide moves back and when it moves back the barrel has to go into the steering block. The locked movement is about uh, one millimeter and after that millimeter, the barrel goes inside the steering curve and, and also down. And when the barrel is down, the reload process can begin because the lock 
is released, the slide will go back the whole way. And when the slide comes forward, it will take the barrel with him and lock the parts again. Can you see the movement of the barrel? There is one millimeter when it goes back. And after that millimeter, the barrel goes down and it goes up on the front and the slide can move back the whole way. When the slide comes forward again, sorry, when the slide comes forward again, the barrel goes in the locked position and is straight on the grip and the pistol is ready to shoot. On the slide is this little nose here and this little nose takes the cartridge with it and puts it in the chamber. The chamber is a part of the barrel. When the slide goes back, the extractor takes out the cartridge from the chamber, and when it is on the when it comes to the ejector, the ejector throws the empty cartridge out. The cartridge goes out, and when the slide goes forward again. This little nose feeds the next next round from the magazine into the chamber. I have here some snap caps in my magazine, and I will show you the reload, the loading of the gun. Put in the magazine. The slide is now locked. Uh, the slide is catched by the slide catch. When the slide goes forward again takes the round with him and puts it in the chamber. Now slide and barrel are locked. And the round is in the chamber. When the pistol is now fired or reloaded, uh, here, you have no, here you have an indicator if the pistol is loaded. It's just a small piece of metal out. When the pistol is now fired, the slide moves back because of the pressure from the round. There is the millimeter in which this, the, this movement is locked, slide and barrel. Then the barrel goes down. The extractor takes the normally empty cartridge with him. It goes back until it came to the ejector and the ejector puts the empty cartridge out and when the slide goes forward again the pistol is reloaded. Here you see the poster with the cut model again and here we have the trigger safety. It isn't very good to see the details here in this poster. Here you see the firing pin safety. It is better on this and here you see the, the steering curve of the fall safety. The fall safety can't go down until it moves back. And then it goes down and releases the firing pin. What you also see really good here is the steering curve. We have in here the barrel and the steering block. Here you see the part of the barrel, and when the barrel moves back, it has to go down because of the steering block. The lock is then released, and the slide can go back the whole way. As you could see, the Glock pistol uses very simple parts, which work very effectively together, and I think that's the reason why this pistol doesn't have failures and it is a very perfect pistol. It's well known around the world for its accuracy and reliability. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it. If you rate it negative, please comment why. See you next time. Bye bye.